Greetings Destined Ones, Vile here and today I'm gonna give you the 20 best choices to start your journey with. That means 20 points to spend in any given ability as you progress throughout the game early on. You don't have to go through XP gains for each and every one of them because sometimes you can meditate at spots and that will give you a spark, a point that you can spend either on spell advancement or ability advancement. What I want to do here is assist you into getting the lay of the land because there is a ton of nodes and you have to study the entire thing in order to make sense of it. I will also be moving forward incrementally, meaning I will tell you which step is a better choice towards building the character in a balanced way so you don't go ahead and spend, let's say, five points into one thing, but he can't do anything else. Without further ado, let's get to it. So here as you can see I have 26 sparks because I progressed even further but we will only use 20 of them. Let's go into abilities and the top left is the foundations, the most important node set in the entire build tree. So you go in here all the way to the right. Now you have survival. Our two basic nodes here are health and stamina. Increasing any of the two will of course increase your health or stamina pools accordingly. We want to increase those two to the max. It's 6 for one and 6 for the other, that is 12. But we don't want to do this in one go. In Wukong you gain levels pretty fast. So the first three levels you gain, I suggest you absolutely put into robust constitution. This will give you some breathing room when it comes to surviving blows early on because some Sometimes there are instances where you will be fighting the mini bosses and those can hit hard in comparison to what you can do at the beginning of the game of course. Then I'd go here, Rampant Vigor and put just one point, one point to be able to perform an additional combo attack or a dodge if need be. Now go into Martial Arts in the mid and put one point into Swift and Gauge. We don't want this but we want to get to Effortless Finisher, grants more focus when the second move of light attack combo hits an enemy. This is really good because it helps you build focus faster and you need focus to pretty much do everything. So we're gonna put one point here and then go to mysticism on top. As soon as you get the immobilized spell these nodes will open up. What I went for is crush. Each talent level moderately increases damage dealt to immobilized enemies. That means that when you immobilize them with a spell and your spell takes quite a bit of time to come back so you have to capitalize on it you can dish out extra damage as you are smashing their faces in two points here and then go to stagnation hitting an immobilized enemy with light attacks slightly extends the duration of the next immobilization inflicted on them and this effect can stack up to five time so place two points here and we already spent 10 of our points we're halfway there then we go staff stances and we're gonna focus on smash stance for the beginning of the game because because pillar stance is a bit nuanced, is defense oriented and thrust stance is position oriented. So let's start with the basics for the beginning of the game. And then as you learn more, you will be able to expand upon those. Go resolute counter flow. Performing a heavy attack during a light attack combo with a focus point consume will allow the destined one to execute a resolute strike. During resolute strike, the destined one can see through enemies and nullify the attack their damage would cause. Now this this is a very small window of opportunity to counter attack by inputting heavy attack after any other light attack. Even your first attack in a combo can be followed up by a resolute counter flow and if you time it correctly the damage you take will be deflected. It will be totally nullified. We want to get this and after we get this we're gonna go exhilaration and place three points here. We want to do this because each talent level slightly increases the health recovered upon consuming a focus point. You cannot make use of this if you just charge with heavy and going in for an attack. You have to use the focus point in a chain to be considered a straightforward usage of that point. And that will be done with resolute counterflow. Any attack you can follow up with a heavy and you will recover some health. Recovering any amount of health of course is super important so it goes without question that this is a very powerful tool. Now go back to foundation, finish up with robot 
robust constitution and then go and place the remainder of our points into survival and with this we have spent 20 points these 20 points are a very solid foundation for you to start your journey you will have a level 20 character by the end of chapter one so it's pretty early that you can build this whole thing up after that you will keep gaining points and i suggest you go for the straightforward stuff first and then for the more advanced wukong is not a very difficult game but it can prove challenging if you don't understand what you're building upon because the character will be very weak and even the slightest difficulty spikes will seem insurmountable if this video does well i will be making a more advanced guide in the future subscribe like and hit the notification bell and until next time be well stay frosty and always try for perfection cheers